Welcome to the Real Mackay, the Scotland Today video blog. Um, there is some tension in the newsroom, I have to tell you. Uh, it has been brought to the attention of some people that um, there was a night out uh, among various newsroom members uh, of trendy young thangs in the newsroom. Now, although he's denying it, uh, one of the main instigators of this was uh, Mr. Sean Batty. Uh, Sean... Uh -huh. I um, that you've called me trendy young, that's good. I think you've taken upon that mantle upon yourself. So so tell me exactly what this trendy young thang night out was. Um, well, it was uh, the baked potato club um, night out. Um, and uh, <laughs> I suppose I should ex explain a bit of the yes, background. Yes, I think you'd better. Um, well, people that watch the blog have probably met Kirsten before. Yes. Um, and uh, myself and Kirsten actually started it. We used to go down to the hub, and you know how one of the only things you can buy in the hub that's warm is a baked well, potato. I'm going to get some opinions, okay? And okay. Uh, opinions of what, what, what their disappointment and also their reaction to Sean for rejecting them. I think it might have to have something to do with the fact that maybe I'm eight months pregnant, um, couldn't maybe hold the pace, but it would have been nice to be asked. You it know? would, it yeah. would, and, and, and it's caused quite offence, hasn't it? What, what's your view of Sean now? Well, you know, I thought Sean was a nice young boy, I thought, you know, very pleasant, but I'm going to have to rethink my Christmas card list. Yeah. Well, I'm clearly not trendy and I'm clearly not young anymore either. <laughs> yeah. so it's a double whammy, I guess, yeah. Sure, I was given membership just last week. So I'm quite privileged, I'm quite pleased, feel privileged that I've been allowed in. Do you feel maybe concerned for those colleagues of yours who feel neglected and rejected and made to feel very old and untrendy? Are <laughs> you feeling neglected? I, no, I would have no expectation, but there are others who are clearly quite hurt. <laughs> so uh, do you feel a schism in the newsroom now? You'd have to ask Sean and Kirsten. Right. Yes, that's... Do you remember your uh, title? Do you remember your title? Go on. Spread. Your spread? Yes. Right. <laughs> Look at Will. Will. What, what's not trendy about Will? Why didn't you ask Will? Um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer any of these, you know. <laughs> I'm still in my 20s. And to not be invited to such a prestigious event, which Sean's obviously put together here, is, is quite upsetting, Sean. Well, I don't know why. So, Tom. I don't, well... Yeah. Is he not young? Is he not trendy? <laughs> um, he's trendy, but um, I mean, what end of the twenties are you? I don't know. Oh, oh, Tom, Tom. All oh, right. So you've got so to be. I've got. To, I've got to, I, I personally apologise to Tom, but I mean, you know, um, obviously oh, there's got to late. be there's got to be a cut off at some age. So what, what, what is that cut off? Is that? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was actually, I think, well, one of the oldest members of it. Uh, right. Okay. So, are we so talking younger than 27, 26, 26 25? I am. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah. So, so you're old on twenty-six. You're out. Well, at the moment, yeah. But obviously, that will move up, and you know, but we'll never as you catch get older. Up with no, I was on holiday. I was away. But you would have been invited otherwise. Yeah, he would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, but but he's got very trendy hair, and um, I copy but, you. Uh, but he's still a bit over the. You know, yes, well, the, he, is, no, well, you're, you're, the, he is a wee bit over the age barrier, mm -hmm. but, but Gordon will be invited the next time as well. Um, perhaps, yes. We'll need to obviously think about maybe the rules now that, you we'll know, there's have a committee some, meeting. Yeah, right? we'll need to have a committee meeting. In a, a Gordon, were you invited to the Trendy Young Thangs Night Out? What Trendy Young Thangs Night Out is that? Sean, you never even told him about it. <laughs> no, because he wasn't here yesterday and you didn't announce it to the newsroom yet. Well. No, 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 no. <laughs> There was a trendy young thang night out. He never got an invitation. He didn't even know anything about it. He's a young well, man. I mean, the thing is, Gordon um, lives over in Edinburgh, so it's quite difficult to... Uh, to oh, <laughs> well... Sean? Do you not? <laughs> Laura? Hello. Young woman? Mm. Bit of style? I think so. Were you part of the trendy young thang night out? No. Sean? Um... <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> I don't know. Well, um, how about, how about explanation, were, perhaps? I think you were in, actually, the day that we sent out the invites. Um, I see. Yeah, I've actually got a list of the invites Maybe on... Maybe because you knew I was working at the weekend, Sean. And of course, of course, yeah. yeah. Well, help, why why are you helping him out, Laura? Why are you doing that? <laughs> I, just, I just think, you know... Um, Maybe you know you just you have a party. You invite who's around. You don't need to invite everybody. That's just very reasonable. Yeah. That's very reasonable. I have lots of parties and don't invite Sean. So, oh, well, there we oh. go. Oh, you see, yes. <laughs> I'm sure but you've had a few parties in your time. And not I would never invite you people. But the point is, <laughs> <laughs> the point is that it's 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 uh, mm. you've created a schism in the newsroom, mm. and that's problematic. Don't you see that? Uh, it, well, it's, it's certainly been brought to my attention now. You know, but um, yeah, so we, know that we want to be insensitive about it. But let's see if anyone else has been offended. Cara is a newest recruit to the newsroom. Young girl. 
Were you invited to the Trendy Young Thangs night out? I did not know about this Trendy Young Thangs night. Sean, I mean... Well, maybe I'm not um, trendy enough, I don't know. No, I think you're trendy enough. Do you, have you ever had a baked potato downstairs? <laughs> So, so no. now age hasn't really got much to do with it. It's more to do with having had the baked potato. <laughs> right. I've got to keep changing my, my tactics here, you know. Really? Um, um, but but you, you can see the problems that we caused. Yes. Are, are, are you going to reconsider for the next time? We might, you know, maybe pick up a couple of honor, honorary members, you know, and uh, yeah. So is, is this an invitation to Cara? Could, um, certainly, you know, <laughs> consider your application. You know, <laughs> we have found another original member of the Baked Potato Club. I was beginning to think it was just exclusive to Sean, but no, no. James was an original member, and James, you went to the Trendy Young Thang night out, didn't you? I did indeed. Now, you're aware of that, the hurt and the the, the, the offence that's been caused by the fact that so many people have not been invited. If you if you doubt that for a second, watch this blog. Um, <laughs> are you are you happy to be part of that? Well, I'm not happy to have upset people, but I'm not sorry to have gone to the night out. You didn't recognise the problems that were being caused? I didn't know who hadn't, hadn't been invited. <laughs> I thought maybe... I didn't know who you, you hadn't invited. You saw the list. I knew, Iceland who, didn't. I knew who you had invited. <laughs> so there's now a schism within the Baked Potato Club. I mean, it's all beginning to fall apart. <laughs> I didn't have a say in who was invited. You just went. Particularly. And you had were, slight say. Is it fair to say you were appalled when you turned up and saw all your friendly colleagues weren't there? It would be, it would be slightly wrong of me to say that I did. I, I, when I turned up, who I expected to be there was there pretty much. And that, but that oh. it doesn't... That doesn't <laughs> you see? He did. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't have liked more people to be so, there. So clearly the, the, the category here, and it's changing all the time, according to Sean, is whether you take a baked potato, whether you're a trendy young thang, or age, right? So, so who else would you have expected to be there who would fit these categories who weren't there? Interesting one, James. Let, let's see what you have to say in that one. Well, I believe you're a fan of baked potatoes, aren't I, you? I am. I am. <laughs> yes. Before he goes on, remember who's the leader of the baked potato club? I don't know who is the leader out of you and the other co-founder. Kirsten. <laughs> so Kirsten's the one to blame for all of this. It's a reign of terror. This disharmony. <laughs> You've got to just to adhere to the rules. I think we need to confront Kirsten with this. She's not, she's not in just now, uh, but we, we will confront her because clearly see what's happened to the newsroom. It's fallen apart. Uh, we'll let you know how this one develops. See you later.